The March, the Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Zach, this is Crystal Palace. Think NORAD has declared DEFCON 3. Scramble all alert aircraft. I repeat, scramble all alert aircraft. The Whopper spends all its time thinking about World War III. Target selection complete. Time on target sequence complete. 22 Typhoon class submarines departing Petropavlovsk. Turning southbound at North Cap, bearing 095 degrees. Radar reports two unknown tracks are penetrating the Alaskan air defense zone. From the front lines of the information war. Flush the bombers, get the subs in launch mode. We are at DEFCON 1. Are you prepared to destroy the enemy? You bet! Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. We'll keep control, but we'll keep it here at the top where it belongs. Three, two, one. Impact. Shall we play a game? How about global thermal nuclear war? Live. From the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All units confirm weapons targeted and ready, awaiting launch codes. We are in a launch mode. Do you really believe that the enemy would attack without provocation? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We're in. Russians are still denying everything, sir. We have a Soviet submarine launch detection. I wish I didn't know about any of this. I wish I was like everybody else. James Ben. The only winning move is not to play. A strange game. The only way to win is not to play. William F. Jasper finishing up with the Ukraine situation. Obviously, the West, the globalists, uh, put 
the Bolsheviks in. Well, that's all on record. And then the West made money with the Russians funding the Northern Vietnamese during the Vietnam War. So there's always been different elements in the West that are working with the whole Soviet bloc. And now they're more of a nationalistic Russian system, but they've still kind of kept the old, you know, communist uh, bravada there. Uh, I, I mean, briefly, your take on Russia then and where you think this is going. I mean, certainly Georgia, they really tried to start a war with Russia to probe them to see what they would do on 888. Again, during the Olympics, they do that to embarrass Russia. Now you have them trying to uh, destabilize Putin, but that actually props Putin up with this provocation by Soros overthrowing the government over there with real grievances. Uh, so it's a diverse situation that lets Putin crack down. I mean, I think it's the same reason the globalist, the New World Order crowd created the communist was so they could take our rights here in the name of countering that authoritarianism. I think it's just the political class wanting to create crises so they can profit off of controlling them. Well, yes. I mean, some very good examples of that are, for instance, if you, if you put in John Foster Dulles into the search engine, you go to the Wikipedia or, or any of the profiles on him, they'll refer to John Foster Dulles, former Secretary of State, as a rabid anti-communist cold warrior. He was really nothing of the kind. He was one of the founders of the Council on Foreign Relations, along with his uh, uh, brother, Alan Dulles, uh, back at the turn of the uh, 20th century, uh, 1910s. Uh, and he was one of those who helped formulate the policy of helping uh, the communists come to power, not only in Russia, but in other parts of the world. However, Later on, he said, and we've quoted him a number of times, he said when he wanted to push for the, uh, the Marshall Plan, he said, uh, look, the only way we're going to be able to sell this is by uh, selling it as a, as a containment of communism. He says we have to use anti-communism. Most Americans, virtually all of them, were anti-communists. Who wouldn't be? Who's, who's for communism? Uh, but you can be manipulated uh, by those who know uh, your belief system. And so he said, okay, if we're going to sell this Marshall Plan for creating more socialism in Europe, if we want to get the American people behind transferring billions of their tax dollars to the socialist parties and, and regimes in Europe after World War II, uh, we have to sell it in a package that they'll buy. I know we'll say it will stop the spread of communism. And that all came out and has been declassified from Bilderberg Group meetings in 19, 1954. And so uh, we have many other examples, Chip Bolin, uh, State Department, uh, many other uh, top uh, Council on Foreign Relations uh, folks saying this over the years. Look, if we're going to sell this plan, whether it's fighting, uh, expanding, starting another war here or there, we have to do it in, in the argot of fighting communism. Let me raise this then. What do you make? What do you and make? So what we see here is, a, is, a, is, again, a referral back to that. They're even talking about this aid to Ukraine as another Marshall Plan. And in, in order to have another Marshall Plan, well, you have to have another... Uh, Soviet Empire, a Kremlin to to uh, uh, fight against. So, uh, does that does that mean that uh, that Putin is really a nice guy? No, uh, he and his uh, Kremlin cronies are really still the same folks that supposedly uh, collapsed uh, back in sure. uh, 89, 90, 91. Uh, you have all the same all the, the same guys and their progeny. KGB, uh, NKVD, uh, uh, running all of the, the top government, top banking, top uh, military, police powers, uh, the, the schools and uh, education there. So you have essentially the same uh, uh, system still in place. Uh, there is no uh, genuine religious freedom or any of the other freedoms that we take for granted uh, here today in Russia. Uh, Ukraine is marginally better. Uh, however, all of the same, uh, you know, when when this uh, Ukraine was part one of the three, Belarus, Ukraine, and uh, uh, Russia were the, were what made up the Soviet Union. All of the other parts uh, were were subdivisions of those three three main republics. Uh, 
After the uh, so-called uh, collapse, we had Leonid Kravchuk as president of the newly independent Ukraine. Uh, Kravchuk was a longtime uh, top Kremlin uh, apparatchik, uh, top communist leader in the Soviet Union. He supposedly then was creating a new liberal republic in the Ukraine. Uh, after, after him, uh, Bill Clinton uh, wanted to give billions of dollars in aid to the Ukraine, but we couldn't do that until we brought in Kravchuk, Viktor Kravchuk. And Kravchuk was also uh, sure. a top communist. He was head of their missile management. And again, you're showing the deep state connections behind all this, uh, and, and I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to expand to that, the drug war, ship the drugs in, and then fight the drugs you've shipped in and put the people that use them in prison to keep the price up and create a police state. Now they're uh, branding that the new war domestically, the reason for the secret police and the end of freedom is to protect everyone from the right wing militias and gun owners and returning veterans. So I see them setting up a new war. And then again, they will stage the attacks. They will provocateur them as a way to come after domestic groups. And that's why we've now come to the end of the road. We either defeat these people and call them out and expose their system or they win. And they want to carry out, I believe, all the evidence is there, a Soviet-style reorganization at the end of which large portions of us will be in prison or dead. And we know that from the Weatherman tapes and others. And I just want folks to know I'm not trying to scare you. You should be scared of not taking action against these people. William, who are they? What makes the New World Order tick at its core? And what do you think of the statement I just made? Well, I, I believe you're you're accurate. Uh, we People sense that we are losing our freedoms they can see it happening around us they can see the executive orders they can see the the uh, all of the various uh assassination orders uh the police state increasingly the surveillance state uh the warrantless searches all of these things are clues folks that uh you're losing your freedoms and freedom is a very fragile thing once government completely breaks loose of the controls that we have put upon them, uh, it's very hard to get it back in its cage. And it's very hard to keep us out of a cage then. And so uh, it is very clearly uh, freedom is, is uh, waning, uh, government is increasing, and uh, we have to roll it back because you can you can look at any instance throughout history and even in our own times once a government gets completely uh empowered uh freedom is gone uh so uh, when you get into all the particulars about it uh, uh would we end up in concentration camps would people be exterminated that has always been uh the end result no that's where it leads absolutely and and, and so uh it is not uh it is not extreme to suggest that if we lose our freedom, that's where we're headed. Uh, so uh, we have to very assiduously, determinedly, courageously start fighting back, pushing back the government back into its proper uh, role. We have to hold public officials accountable. We have to uh, be on top of them. And once they're Absolutely. elected, that, that's just the, the, the beginning. W William, freedom isn't free. and we are in a death battle with tyranny. There's always bad people that want to dominate and control. And if you give them the, the field, they will win. They will dominate. Thank you so much for the time. I think this is our best interview ever in the last 18 years. Thank you very much. Thank you. William F. Jasper, TheNewAmerican.com. And that's why I get so impassioned, because I know this is real. And, and now it's very naked. I said we take some calls. We're almost out of time, but I'd like to get your take on tyranny. And uh, is it as bad as we're saying in the, in the Bundy situation on those topics? 800-259-9231. This is so sophisticated that I have trouble grasping it all. And I'm a pretty smart guy. It's up to those of you that are intelligent, professional, to go research what we've claimed here and find out it's true. It's all hiding in plain view. And then I ask you, what are you going to do? I can't do everything. Just tracking enemy operations makes my head spin. Just dealing with it. But 
you notice what we say keeps coming true. We know what we're talking about.